from the Strip Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with his 10 News Update. Two of the country's biggest retail chains are making more changes to promote physical distancing amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Walmart says it will now limit the number of people in its stores to no more than five customers for every thousand square feet. That's roughly 20% of capacity. The chain is also designating one-way aisles and making one entrance and one exit. And Target monitoring the number of shoppers depending on the size of the store and implementing designated waiting areas outside with distancing markers. Well, starting tomorrow, the San Diego Unified School District will begin its transition to remote learning. Teachers will first work to determine which students are ready to take part in the online classes and those who are going to need assistance getting connected. All students will get credit for completing their work, but it's not going to be graded at first. Students will start receiving grades on April 27th. The district says it will provide computers and Internet access to any students that need them. Governor Gavin Newsom says California needs to do more in terms of testing for coronavirus. California has tested nearly 27,000 people for the virus, but the governor says that is not enough. The governor announcing a partnership with UC Davis and UC San Diego that will create testing sites to speed up processing times with the goal of increasing daily testing fivefold in California in the next few weeks. Time now to get a check on our weather. Melissa Messia reporting from we looking today. Hey Jim, happy Sunday and today is going to be cloudy as we anticipate the rain that is going to come here over the next few days along the coast. We are going to be in the low 60s by this afternoon, increasing our chances for the more widespread rain later on tonight into tomorrow. Your seven day forecast, we're going to stay below average here over the next several days. We'll start to dry out as we get toward the end of the week. If you are in the mountains, expect snow at the higher elevations above 5,500 feet. Jim? All right, Mel, thank you very much for the latest news, weather and traffic. Head to 10news.com. Download our free 10 News app in your app store as well. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.